Foxy, what's your greatest and least greatest thing about Mike? Oh, when he brings us on field trips. Those are always the best. As for the least greatest thing, um, he makes too many rules. Pirates don't have rules. Mike, do you think you need help mining them? How much do you love Mike? Mike's a big dummy who makes too many rules. I think PG is better. Ooh, yeah, I like PG. Mike is nice. I like him, but he needs to give me more candy. You're all grounded. What do you feed the little cuties? What exactly do they eat? What do you feed the kids? I make sure they get all the nutrients and such that they need, whether they hate it or not. Some of them get more of their favorite foods than others, though. Why is Mike gray? Whoa, Mike, what happened to your skin, dude? Even PG looks healthier than you. Is your job really that stressful? It's just a skin condition. I was born with it. Or he's an alien. Kids, no! Yep, definitely an alien. It really is just a skin condition. Please ignore the children. You're be excited for Tuck Like a Pirate Day? That's pretty cute. Yar, of course! Hey kids, what do you think you'd look like as humans? Good job! Look, Mike! We drew us! Y Yay! Do the kids go to daycare every day or do they go home to their parents? Do the babies have big robo-parents? Goldie! Freddy! Get ready! Your dad's here! Welcome back, Mr. Fazbear. Sorry, I didn't have time to change from my work clothes. Hey kids, do you think it would be weird if Mike and PG got married? Well, yeah. They haven't even kissed! Nod nod. Okay kids, time for bed! Are Chica and Bonnie dating? Chica and Bonnie, are you two going to get married when you grow up? Blech! That's gross adult stuff! We're going to own a diner, not be married! Duh! Yeah, marrying's for loser adults that kiss and stuff! Has there ever been an emergency at the daycare? Well, there was the... Bites of 87. But we try not to remember it. What you got there, Bonnie? An old photo. It's weird. I don't remember them that well. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, we are getting some new arrivals soon. Maybe one of them is your friend. Yeah, maybe. PG, how did you and Mike meet? Well, it's kind of a long story. It all started when the place first opened. Mike had a sign out when I just happened to pass by. Back then I was too busy to come in and physically help, but I called and said, I was a babysitter. I had experience. I'm always available. So we called? Do you know how to deal with robot kids? Uh... And called? He keeps falling asleep. Narcolepsy, maybe? And called. I think they're allergic! <laughs> Call the ambulance, not me! <laughs> he could never remember my name, so I was just called the phone guy, or PG for short. Then eventually got fired by one of my jobs, so... I finally met Mike and the kids face to face. It was intense. When you first met PG face to face, did he look like what you expected him to be? P 
Kiji? Wow. Cute. Oh no, he's really cute! Have you ever had one get loose or try to escape the daycare? Not really, no. They like it here, despite Foxy's rule complaints. Mike, ask PG out already. We're waiting. We know you like him. I've been thinking about it more lately. Maybe when it's closer to the holidays. Hey Mike, did the alien mothership call you yet? Hey Gray, did the alien mothership send you a message? Why are you waiting for the holidays to maybe ask PG out? Well, it gives me some time to gain some courage, for one thing, and an idea of how to ask. Hey Mike, how much do you get paid? It depends on things like how many kids are here, then I have to subtract taxes and PG's pay... After all the expenses are sorted out, maybe... 120 to 200 a week. It also depends on how much we cooked and such. There's a lot of factors. Hey Chica, can you give us a big smile please? Huh? Okay! Why? Is there something in my teeth? Mike, how do you imagine the daycare when they're grown up? What's it gonna be like when they grow up? I... I never thought of that. Pretty lonely, I guess. Well, I'll just enjoy it while it lasts. Hey, Mikey, what you making? Hot cocoa <laughs> with water. Does Freddy's nose squeak? <laughs> yes. Who's taller, PG or Mike? <laughs> It's a rather sensitive subject for Mike, but I think it's only a small problem. Does Goldie's nose squeak too? Does Goldie's nose honk? Yes! Does Bonnie's nose honk? Nope. Ah! Mike, are you aware of all this nose squeaking taking place and the germs being spread by it? No. What do you- Does Mike's nose squeak? <laughs> Psst. PG, Mike wants to ask you out. Oh. N no. We're strictly professional here. Just two guys running a daycare. There's no r romance between us. Besides, I'm not good enough for a fella like him anyway. Oh man, it looks so fabulous. That's what your friend looks like? Yeah, but, um, a bunny. Come to think of it, I think I had a man who looked like this too. Who's older, PG or Mike? Ha! Huh, even though I'm smaller, at least I'm a year older than you! But you're so cute and tiny, you'll always be little to me! Does PG's nose squeak? Please tell me that PG's nose squeaks! Does... Does PG have a nose? Uh... Um, if he doesn't have a nose, we can't see if it makes sounds. Do Foxy's nose squeak? Does Foxy's nose squeak? Er, let this be our little secret. I... Have you ever had a kid in the daycare where they are unique in a way, like a furry, a kid with a disability, an endoskeleton, etc.? Well, Goldie's autistic. I guess that's why Freddy is so protective of him. How tall are the kids? Tall? Short. Bonnie. Your relationship with Chica is platonic, right? Yep! Love 
That is gross! At first I thought something was wrong, but Peachy told me I might be just like him! An ace! I don't really know what that means, and Peachy said I won't really understand until I'm older. But it makes me happy that I'm not broken, or alone, and I get a cool name too! Does Chica's beak or nose squeak? Does Chica's nose squeak? You forgot Chica's nose! Or beak. Foxy, how bad are your allergies? I'm allergic to peanuts too. They kill me though. No way! Peanuts don't make you die! When I have them, me face gets real big. <gasps> like this! But they definitely can't kill you. It's like, impossible! PG, I've been wondering, where are the purple lines under your eyes? This blog is so adorable, I love it so much! Huh? You mean the bags? I don't exactly get tons of sleep. Multiple jobs and all. But I'm better than before, though. I used to just drink coffee all the time. At least I get about an hour of sleep nowadays. So, PG, what exactly happened to your arm? Well, it's a long story. See, before I worked here, at another place... It was dangerous, but I really needed the money. So I just went through with it. It probably wasn't a good idea to lie about having experience. Anyways, I was on the job and... And then it was gone when I woke up. <laughs> Sorry, I tend to ramble a bit. Does PG have a robot arm? Or maybe a plastic one? Not that there's anything wrong with showing he has one arm. I was just curious. Oh no, I'm far too poor for that. Besides, I've kind of grown attached to the way it is. It's weird saying it about a lost limb, but it's a part of me. What is your real name, PG? PG, what's your real name? Do the kids know? PG, could you tell us your name? Well, remember. Uh, well, it's not that big of a deal. But... My real name is Oliver. But please, call me PG. I quite like it now. Hey Goldie, have you ever tried taking off Mike's hat before? No, that's mean. But... I've seen what's under it. You ready? It's no big deal what's there. Don't worry. Chica's name sounds Spanish. Are her parents of Spanish heritage? My parents said I'm Puerto Rican. Is that Spanish? I'm not really good at world stuff. Is Foxy the one that makes up rules during a game to make things go his way? I don't know. He seems like he would be the one, in my opinion. No way. I don't make up rules. Some people just don't remember them. I just remind them of the rules that are already there. We have to follow the rules. Mike, it's almost the holidays. What are you going to do? Sadly, someone also told PG you want to ask him out. You have to fix this! Ah, oh, jeez. It's not that close, is it? I still don't even know what to say. Say about what? Nothing! Okay, let's go! All the kids are ready, right? Okay, then get in the bus! Field trip! But where are we going? Where are you guys going? You guys are going on a field trip? Lucky! Can we come? Hold up. Why y'all getting dressed? Going on a field trip? Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. How may I help you? Hello. Yes. Five kids and two adults. Don't you mean six kids and one adult?
I can tell we're gonna have a great time already. What about Mike and PG? What do they think of the robots there? PG, we have to leave soon. Aw, oh, come on! The pizza isn't even here yet! They're cute. I hope the kids can get along with them. <laughs> are there other animatronics there? What do the kids think of them? I... I don't trust them. They're kind of scary. Those guys on the stage are the enemy. Right. We have to take them down before we leave. I say we sneak up behind them and attack. Who's with me? Yeah! yeah! Then onwards to victory! Why are they the enemy, kids? It's not nice to call other people your enemy without a reason. It just doesn't feel right. We should be on stage, not those dumb old adults. And we have to take stage. It's our turn and they're not sharing. Do any animatronics hide in the ball pit? Hey, where's my hat? Who else but Goldie? Um, PG, you just might want to stop the kid from, you know, plotting this restaurant's animatronics demise. Are Mike and PG aware of your plan? Yeah, hey, where are the kids? What? Did you lose them? No worries, let's go look for them. Hmm. Hey kids, hope you're enjoying your time at Chuck E. Cheese. Alright, everyone get ready. No, stop, you're making a big mistake, kids! Oh my gosh, the suspense is killing me! What's gonna happen? Remember, everyone who gets a pizza will get a free... Let's eat... Bib. Thank you! Of course! Mom? Chica? Mommy! Chica! Chica, darling, what are you doing here? Trying to take down you and your group! I see. And these are your companions? Yeah! Freddy, Foxy, and Barney! Sorry, but the show... Oh, sorry. Ahem, yes. Everyone who gets a pizza will get a free Let's Eat Bib, just like the one on my little Chica! Good comeback. Come on, kids. Let's get you to your guardians. I don't see them. Hey, I think our pizza's here. Pizza? Found them. Let's eat! We found it before anything bad happened, too. Man, we're great at our job. PG, where did Goldie go? Uh, where's Goldie? Wait, where's Goldie? I thought he was on it, too. Did he run off? Wait. Where the heck is Goldie? Goldie, come out. Plan's over. All these weird kids. Aww! Nice to meet you, sir! Have the children eaten lunch on their field trip? Was it any good? This is gonna make a pretty great wallpaper. It is it's really, really good! good. Yeah. 
I bet Mike and PG woke up very embarrassed that next day. This couple is giving me a heart attack. Do strange things happen to the kids at night? Were we out? Why'd you wake up anyway? Nightmare. Uh, were we supposed to bring the kids home? I, I think we got permission to keep them. Don't worry. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry for getting so close. Aw, oh, come on. It's all right. I don't mind one bit. <laughs> Mike, if you want to make this official, kiss PG, then ask him to be his boyfriend. Heart attack intenses. Mike, ask PG hour. Out. Now kiss. You could do this. You could finally do this. You just have to lean forward and pucker your lips. Something wrong, Mike? I... Uh... Oh, hey! It's almost Halloween! We should get ready! Yeah. Still not dressing up, huh? Oh, come on! You know we're too old for that stuff. Yay! Quick! Do something cute! No way! Sparky is president! You... To do what he says. But Carlos is a corporate superstar. He is beyond your laws. My bullies shoot you for being so bad. Aww. Hey kids, have you ever heard of shipping? Yeah, PG ships all the time. One of his jobs is a man man. Nope, not for you. Aw, oh, come on. I wish he'd start shipping us presents though. How fast is Foxy? Whoa! Cheating! A little bit too fast. Do Freddy and Foxy get along? Do Freddy and Foxy like each other? Do Freddy and Foxy get along? Freddy is so cool! He's so smart and tough and nice and even if he falls asleep a lot, he's really awesome and I want to be just like him! Foxy isn't that bad. Kind of too hyper for me. But he follows orders good, so he's okay to have around. Mike and PG, do you ever change your clothes? The ones you are wearing are a bit dirty, don't you think? Sure, we have tons of different outfits. How sharp are Foxy's teeth? Sharper than nails, they be. Once I bit Mike and there was blood all over, he had to get like three whole band-aids! And I got in a lot of trouble too, but still!